Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication and division, specifically how we can remember and use those facts with automaticity, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So I wrote that word on the screen, automaticity, because it's probably something you've heard your teacher say several times. The reason your teacher is using the term automaticity is because it's actually from our state standards, which shows us what we need to teach third grade students. Automaticity, as you can see, is like automatic. When you are remembering facts, whether it be 3 times 3, 8 times 5, 6 times 7, we want you to be able to remember those with automaticity or to automatically know what those answers are. So that's why memorization of multiplication and division facts are so important. And it's also helpful because a lot of times you will be given a division problem. So let's say you've got... 42 rows and you need to divide those into let's say rows of six six in each row so a question that might be asked is how many rows are there well the way this question is written is that this is a division fact question so you've got 42 you're going to divide it by 6, and then that's going to get you your missing number, your quotient in this case, how many rows there are. But a lot of times, if you know your multiplication facts, that can help you with division problems. So if we remember our fact families, right? Fact families say that each number sentence has three other related number sentences that use the exact same numbers and inverse operations. So let me write this right here. 42, I'm going to flip my dividend in my divisor. So 42 divided by our missing number equals 6. That doesn't really help us too much. But what if I were to think of the inverse operation of division, and that's multiplication, and write those multiplication sentences that are in the same fact family. Well, as you can see, either one of these is going to be extremely helpful. Because I might not know what 42 divided by 6 is, but I do know my 6s. And if I skip count by 6s, how many 6s will it take for me to get up to 42? So that's going to be our multiplication problem that can help us with this division problem. Now, this should be a fact that you have memorized, but if not, rather than starting all the way up from 6, let me give you a little bit of a trick. If you're uh, not sure of 6 times what makes 42 and you don't want to say 6, 12, 18 and start all the way there, you might start halfway through. Most of us have our 5s memorized. So if we start with 5 groups of 6, we can think of 5 times 6 or 6 times 5 because those are the same thing. So if we skip count by 5, 6 times, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, that gets us a starting point. So 5 groups of 6 is going to be 30. And then you can just add additional 6s. So another group of 6, or 6 groups of 6, is now going to be 36. And so 7 times 6, or 7 groups of 6, add 6 to 36, and we've got 42. So this is going to be our missing number. It's going to be 7. So if you know the multiplication fact, it will help you with the division problem. So here's a similar problem. Let's say we have 72 toys. And there are eight toys in a box. So we have that constant eight toys in a box. How many boxes are we going to have? So that's going to set up to be a division problem. 72 divided by eight toys in a box equals how many boxes? Well, that's the unknown. But we could go back to our fact families. And we can write all the other sentences that are in the same fact family. So when you're dealing with the division, Fact family sentences. You're only switching your quotient and your divisor. The dividend up here, the 72 in this case, is always going to stay up in front. But the other two are going to be your multiplication sentences. So it's going to be unknown times 8 equals 72. And 8 times unknown also equals 72. So you notice that in this case, we're simply switching the factors and their position. So now we have multiplication sense that we can make sense of. I need to go by my 8s up to 72, and I should know with automaticity that it is 9. So 72 divided by 8 is going to equal 9.